Hello guys, how are you doing? Uh, this is Vikash from Bulk Mockup with another interesting video. Have you ever struggled with changing the aspect ratio of your artwork files? Uh, especially when you have a large batch of artworks to work with. Today, you'll learn how to change the aspect ratio of your design files in bulk. Well, changing the aspect ratio of your artwork file is pretty straightforward uh, if you do it manually one by one. However, it will take you ages if you have like 100 or maybe uh, 200 artworks to uh, work with. Uh, stay tuned because today I'll teach you how you can take an artwork file in one aspect ratio, say 2 is to 3, and transform it into multiple aspect ratio all in one go. At the end of the video, there's a small bonus for you that uh, you'll definitely love. So keep watching till the end. And now uh, let's dive into this video after this introduction. So explaining the process of changing the aspect ratio will be better illustrated if I have a live example. So whatever artwork files that you have, and the first step would be uh, to separate them into portrait and landscape. So I've collected the uh, consistent aspect ratio files in one folder. I have 28 of them. I'll be working only on the portrait images uh, in this example. Uh, so uh, the same process can be applied to landscape images as well. Uh, so before I you know delve further, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Thomas Burad. All the artworks that I'm using for this demo uh, has been downloaded from his uh, Mid Journey Gallery. Uh, you can check out uh, his name on Mid Journey Gallery and sign the same artworks uh, that I'll be using. Okay. So let me go back to a folder. Uh, we have 28 of them. And let us start with the consistent aspect ratio. So if you do not know the aspect ratio of your artwork files, how do you check that? So if you are very good with maths, uh, you can open this in Photoshop. So if you are good with maths, uh, go to image, uh, image size, and now you can take a ratio of uh, width is to height. Uh, this is pretty uh, difficult number. So to make it easier, I uh, will change it to around figure 1000. And you could clearly see it's 1000 width and the height is 1500 pixels. So the aspect ratio would be 2 is to 3. Another quick method is to grab the crop tool and click over here. And here you can um, scroll through the different aspect ratio. If uh, we select this one is to 1, uh, you could see there's a cropping. So choose the one that uh, perfectly suits this. So the aspect ratio is 2 is to 3 or we could say 4 is to 6, whatever uh, is convenient for you to call out. So we know the aspect ratio is 2 is to 3 for this artwork. Uh, let me go back. Uh, so all the artworks over here is of the aspect ratio 2 is to 3. Now, let me uh, go to the different aspect ratio. So these are the different aspect ratio that we'll be changing the files into. All of our design files are in 2 is to 3 aspect ratio. Uh, we are supposed to change it into 3 is to 4. Uh, 4 is to 5. ISO sizes. ISO size stands for international sizes. We have A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, and then 11 into 48. Uh, this image is courtesy from this uh, Scopus Creative. So if you like this uh, representation of the different aspect ratio, you can go to this Etsy store and purchase this listing. Uh, anyways, uh, there are different sizes that you could see. Uh, 24 into 36 inches, 20 to 30 inches, and other things over here. Uh, do not pay heed to the uh, sizes, pay heed only to the aspect ratios. Uh, we'll jump on Photoshop and we'll create the size for each aspect ratio. 2 is to 3, 3 is to 4, 4 is to 5. ISO sizes, 11 is to 14. Uh, I think uh, not 11 to 14. Uh, we create 4 size. So we'll go to Photoshop. Why? we we'll create new. And over here, always keep the resolution as 300. Uh, because uh, we are creating a different aspect ratio for the print purpose. So resolution 300 is perfect. And instead of playing with pixels, always choose inches or centimeter. Uh, because, you know, pixel changes as we change the, you know, uh, resolution. But when we play with uh, inches or centimeters, uh, the pic resolution does not tend to change. So we'll have resolution as 300, uh, change the 
metric to inches and now we are going to have this aspect ratio 2 is to 3 uh, so I use the biggest size we'll name it as 24 into 36 inches we'll have 24 as width and the height as 36 create it do nothing else over here now uh, we'll select the other one aspect ratio 3 is to 4 by uh, now before we go that uh, before we create the new one let me save it as save a copy I'll create a new folder here so this one is 2 is to 3 so we'll write it down 2 x 3 we'll go to file create a new file and this time we'll select ratio 3 is to 4 so 13 to 40 inches resolution 300 will have uh, inches as the metric uh, 13 to 40 inches click on create go to file save as 8 to 40 now we'll go to file new the third option we have 4 is to 5 uh, 24 into 30 aspect ratio 4 is to 5 24 into 30 inches 24 into 30 and then we have ISO sizes so ISO sizes uh, will take this even I think uh, we might have some presets in Photoshop uh, if not I mean I select this size 23.4 into 33.1 all right so let me go to file new r23.4 that's the 3.1 Up it. See the test. ISO. Now all have all the files open in Photoshop, and if I check the PST files, uh, we have four uh, PST files over here. So one thing you need to understand is that when we change the aspect ratio of a file, like a uh, all our artwork is 2 to 3 this will perfectly place inside this file but when we change it into this one or this one uh, there will be some inevitable cropping so there are three ways to deal with this issue uh, the first method is uh, let me grab this design and place it on 2 to 3 so this is 2 to 3 artwork uh, when we enlarge this here we go let me grab this so this sits perfectly on 2 is to 3 file however uh, when we copy and paste it into the other files that we have 3 is to 4, 4 is to 5 and ISO uh, there will be some inevitable cropping that will be required there are three ways to deal with this okay the first one is mirroring so let me just right click on a people does over here uh, okay now I'll right click Click on duplicate layer and uh, go to 3 is to 40 and just ignore 30 is to 40 uh, it is 3 is to 4 all right uh, click on this over here uh, let me grab it I'll press ctrl A and try to center align it depending on your artwork file there are three ways to deal with this uh, method one is you press ctrl D and just crop the extra there will be inevitable cropping and you take it to 4 is to 5 there will be different kind of cropping uh, this is method 1 which we call it uh, expanding and cropping the extra let me press ctrl z to go back uh, the other method is called what we call as mirroring so if you have seen a gallery wrap uh, artwork uh, in the print so they use mirroring effect so if you can do the mirroring is press ctrl uh, select this layer and press ctrl j press ctrl t 
and on this select this anchor point on the right right click and click on shape horizontal okay go back to this layer press ctrl j to duplicate another press ctrl t to activate the anchor points uh, select this left anchor point clip horizontal so this is now do you have any spaces so if you have any spaces just uh, select this one and nudge it uh, nudge it on the left uh, similarly on this one nudge it on the right this is what we call a mirroring effect uh, there's no cropping involved in this uh, but as you could see uh, the pattern is overlaid so this is the other method uh, to deal with it and I'll delete these both layers and the third method to deal with this is using a negative space so consider like uh, just a uh, Van Gogh cat drawing uh, but if I select any other artwork let me just pull out another artwork to show you the third method uh, so maybe consider uh, this as an artwork in this case uh, there is some immobile cropping on the top and the bottom uh, so with this we can deal with adding some negative spaces so we we'll select the uh, solid color layer pick a any color pull it at the bottom and then double click and select this layer so this could be other way of dealing with this you know you need negative spaces uh, coming back for example i will be using mirroring as well as uh, you know cropping the extra uh, what do you say so what we can do uh, we have four files two is to three three is to four four is to five and iso I will grab any of the artwork file does not uh, matter which one you want to grab grab it and place it first of all place it on the correct aspect ratio file so we'll place it on 2 is to 3 when you hit enter uh, this is supposed to be a smart object layer okay if I zoom in uh, this is supposed to be a smart object layer uh, if you place your design file and it is not a smart object layer uh, you right click and change it to a smart object layer convert it to smart object option you'll have so you need to convert it to a smart object next press ctrl t and expand it to fit the entire region check if every border is there ctrl a to select all and then you may want to center it okay now the work for this one is complete we'll go to file and save it Now, right click on this one, go to duplicate layer and duplicate it into the other files that you have. We have 3 is to 4, duplicate it, right click and duplicate layer. Now, 4 is to 5, right click, duplicate layer, ISO. Once done, we'll close this. Now, we have it on the ISO, press Ctrl D and you can see. Uh, there is an extra cropping so go back and pull it so that it fits the region control a we'll center align now there are two methods like i mentioned for this case uh, one is mirroring and the other one is uh, cropping the extra so first i uh, will try to crop the extra press control a and then press these two options to center align We'll save it as save a copy and we'll name it ISO crop extra. Now uh, this file is saved. We'll press Ctrl Z. We'll go back to this one and we'll save a updated copy, which we'll call it a mirroring effect. I'll press Ctrl J twice to duplicate it twice a time. Press Ctrl D to activate it. Uh, select the right anchor point. Right click and flip horizontal. Uh, select the second one. Press Ctrl T. Select this left right click and flip horizontal. 
I will nudge this layer a bit. This one as well. Perfect. We'll buy save as. I will name this ISO. Here. Now it shows this. Now go back to our folder where we created this uh, template file. So ignore this trick. Uh, we created as a blank, uh, but we saved extra copy. So this is two is to three, uh, which is an ideal for all the aspect ratio files that we have. And now we have three is to four crop extra, three is to four mirror, uh, four is to five crop extra, four is to five mirror, ISO crop extra, and ISO mirror. Uh, now we'll go ahead and delete these three files. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven template files. We'll call this. So the major task we have already done it. Now it's the time to see the magic and automate the process of changing your archive files into different aspect ratio. And for this, I uh, will be using bulk mockup Photoshop extension. Bulk Mockup is an incredible Photoshop extension that is insanely powerful with working with smart object layers. Uh, we created this template with smart objects uh, so that we can work with Bulk Mockup and automate this entire process. Uh, let me jump into Photoshop. To so bring out the plugin, we'll go to Bulk Plugins and Bulk Mockup. Uh, so this is a pretty interface. It looks very simple, uh, but do not go with the uh, simplicity. It's insanely powerful. The first is PST template folder. So what we did earlier, uh, we created a PST template folder. As you could see, uh, I'll go ahead and select the folder, which are PST art. We'll go ahead and select the folder with the PST files that we just created. Different aspect ratio files, right? Uh, design size folders. So these are our consistent aspect ratio files. We have 28 of them. We'll select this. Now export folder. So we'll create a new folder and we'll name it uh, export next and click on create and click on open. Now uh, coming back to this uh, resize methods. Uh, so we have different resize method and uh, uh, what we will choose is fit to canvas without cropping. Okay. Uh, so basically what this will do, uh, it will open the template that we just created. Like we had seven templates created. It will open the templates one by one and it will replace the smart object. By selecting this option, uh, fit to canvas without cropping, uh, we are just uh, placing the artwork to the exact dimension as we had already set up in the template. Okay. Now let us go to the settings tab. And over here, we will have do not scale, uh, select it as center, we will have this two unchecked. Uh, we will go to PST template and uh, which format do you want to save this file? We have GIF, PNG, DIF, PST and GIF. Uh, you could select either of them or all of them. Uh, if I select JPG and PNG, uh, two file format will be saved. If you select DIF, the three files will be saved. So for this demo, we will only have JPG. Uh, we do not want to uh, resize the document and resolution we will have it as 300 dpi or we could uh, select as is because all these templates that we created with 300 dpi uh, so the file output will be 300 dpi now uh, we'll go back to we'll go to export tab in the export tab we have two options the first one is export to subfolders so we can select pst mockup over here and what it will do, it will create a subfolder for each of the seven templates. So we had seven templates uh, corresponding to seven uh, different sizes. If I could show you, uh, we have seven files, two is to three, three is to four, three is to four, ISO crop. So seven subfolders will be created corresponding to each of these uh, sizes and the files will be shaped according to that. Or if you select a design file, uh, in this case, Subfolders will be created according to the design file, and it, inside each folder, 
all the different sizes of that artwork will be placed. So you could select either of that. Uh, I'll select PST mockup. Okay. And then uh, we have the file option. This is the exported file in pattern. So you could see in the example, it is PST mockup name, artwork file name and suffix. Uh, we'll select mockup. I will not name design. I will select the mockup and we could have an incremental value. And we could start it with the world. Okay. So this is the settings that I'll select. So all the settings are uh, done correctly. Uh, now I can click on start generating. Uh, you'll start seeing the magic. How one input of two to three files, uh, multiple aspect ratio files will be output. However, uh, this one glitch uh, that I want to fix. Uh, if you look at the files, uh, there are 20 or 28 items and all of this being uh, large sizes, like we are resizing them into 24 into 36 inches, 30 into 40 inches. Uh, it will consume a lot of uh, resources from Photoshop. Uh, this will take a long duration of time. And uh, we want to make this tutorial quick. So I'll select only five of them. Okay. I'll remove all the other ones. So we'll only work with five of the, so we'll only work with five of the artworks. I'll remove the rest. So now we have only five artwork and we can go back to Photoshop and I'll just uh, put it on the side. Sorry. I'll just put it on the side and click on start generating. Uh, once I click on start generating, uh, you could see uh, bulk mockup opens up the first template of the seven that we created and it is working on that. Uh, let me open the export folder to show you what is happening over here. So this is the export folder, which was empty. And now we can see uh, the first file or the first subfolder is created, two is to three. And you could see the artworks are being resized and placed inside it. Uh, it will take a couple of minutes uh, to export all of them. And the third one is there. And shortly after the fourth file will come here. And once uh, the fifth one comes, uh, we'll call, go back and we'll see a new folder is being created for the different aspect ratio and the files are being exported into that as well. Uh, here comes the fourth one. And now we have the fifth one. Now let me go back and you'll see uh, the next folder is created. Three to four, crop extra. So like if you remember, uh, we had to uh, crop the artwork and the second one will come any moment so this is how it works uh, it will create the third one so likewise uh, seven subfolders will be created okay so uh, though being only five files uh, it takes up a big amount of time because if I could uh, select and check the info. Uh, these are quite big, uh, 19 MBs. So that is why it is taking a lot of time. Uh, I'll fast forward this video and I'll resume the video when all the seven folders are being created and then we'll uh, go through the files and see how they are uh, resized. Okay. all the files are exported. We have seven folders and inside seven folders, uh, we have five artworks of different aspect ratio. Uh, to compare, let us pull out one of the artworks from each folder. Copy, based. Look how it is being resized. Uh, this is two is to three ratio, which is the perfect size uh, that we had artwork in. Uh, this one is three is to four crop extra, like uh, we enlarged it and there was some inevitable cropping at the top and the bottom. Uh, this one is the mirror effect. Uh, if you closely look, uh, this, this line over here and over here, we have some mirroring effect. And then this is four is to five crop extra. 
Uh, this is porous to pipe mirror, and this is ISO crop extra and ISO mirroring. Isn't this amazing? Like uh, we used one aspect ratio, and then uh, we sized into a multiple aspect ratio pies. Uh, bulk mockup is incredible. Apart from handling uh, these use cases, there are multiple use cases where you can use uh, bulk mockup into your workflow. And this uh, for the demo, we only used pie. Uh, images but if you have 100 or 200 design files uh, this will work flawlessly as well i promised you a bonus so it's time for a bonus uh, for the bonus let me show you uh, consider that your artwork file is 2 is to 3 and you do not want to change the aspect ratio uh, but you want to resize them into different uh, sizes of the same aspect ratio so consider your file size is 24 into 36 and you want to resize them into 20 to 30 16 to 24 uh, 12 is to 18, 10 is to 15, 8 is to 12, 6 is to 9, and 4 is to 6 inches. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 uh, files of the same aspect ratio. So to do this, uh, there's a secret uh, script. Uh, you can find the link in the description, which is called Image Processor Pro. I did a previous video explaining how it works. Uh, you can go check that video and download the script and resize uh, the different sizes with the same aspect ratio within one go. Uh, that is an automated solution as well. So go check that video, download the script. And if you have watched this far, uh, thank you for watching this video till the end. Uh, now if you have watched, if you have come to the end of this video, uh, now I recommend you watch uh, this video, uh, which explains how to create stunning wall art mockup uh, for your Etsy listings.